and we get to solve some word problems. Carlos has 435 pesos. Now this is, for example, in a country like Mexico, for example. There's many countries that use pesos as their money. He buys two books, 125 pesos each. How much money does he have left? Okay, Carlos has that much money. He buys two books. How much does he have left? That's a subtraction problem, right? But he buys two books. So we need to find the total price of those two books. And for that, I will add, right? Yeah, Matt is saying, of course, of course. Yeah, 125 and 125. I'm going to add these to find the total price of those two books. 5 and 5, 10, then over here, 5 and here too. So the total price is 250 pesos. And now what do we do? Subtract. Yes, he has 435 pesos when he goes to the store and he spends 250 pesos. Okay, 5 minus 0, 5. 3 minus 5 is not 2. Remember, from 3 you cannot subtract 5. We need to regroup. That's what we just learned, right? So, that's good. Instead of 400s, I have 3. Instead of 3 tenths, I will have 13. 13 minus 5 is 8, and then over here, 1. He has 185 pesos left. Next comes a nice word problem. One movie is 128 minutes long, and another is 72 minutes long. You can make up the question again. Oh, Matthew. Oh, what are the movies about? That's Matthew's question. Okay, well, I don't know. Well, let's say that one of them is about elephants, and the other one is about mammoths. Which one is about mammoths? Well, of course, the longer one is about mammoths. It's a mammoth movie, you know? So, what else could we ask? Oh, Matthew has another question. He's asking, can he watch both of them? Of course you can watch both of them, but let's make a math question now. You see, there's two numbers. What kind of question would I make if I want to subtract? You know, if I'm making a math question and I want the students to learn subtraction and practice subtraction, what will I ask? I will ask, how much longer is the one than the other, right? How much longer? It's kind of like how many more type of question. But here, how many minutes longer is one than the other? That's a subtraction question. So let's subtract them. Okay, 128 and then 72. 8 minus 2 is 6. And over here, 2 minus 7, I cannot subtract. So I need to regroup, right? But I can think of this as, look, it's like 12 minus 7 here. So I'll just solve that. I won't regroup as such. Just 12 minus 7 equals 5, and it is all done. 56 minutes longer. And of course, you could also ask an addition question, that how long are these two movies together? But let's go on to these puzzles. Matthew, you, you can try them, okay? You love puzzles anyway. What number goes here? Okay, you subtract from this number, you subtract 2. You get 3. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think? I think there's an error, you know? 5 minus 2 is not 7. 5 plus 2 is 7. This will not work. From 5 you subtract something and 7 is left. That does not work unless we actually have here a regrouping, which means there would be 15 here, right? And I think this will be wrong too. And here, you know, whatever is there gets scratched out. 15 minus 8. Yep. And then over here, what number would be here? It gets scratched out though, you know? Okay, 2 and 3. What we have here will be 5. 5 minus 3 equals 2. And of course here, one more. 6. You try this one. It's a little tricky when there's a regrouping, but pause the video and try. Okay, first 
7 minus something leaves 1. That's easy. Now over here, some number minus 4 leaves 6. Okay, well there is such a number, it's 10. But I cannot put 10 here. I can put it here if there was a regrouping. 10 minus 4 equals 6. So what would be here then? Can you think of that? It must be 0 here and it gets of course crossed out in the regrouping and this gets crossed out. So there must be 5 here. 5 minus 1 equals 4. Okay, I hope you got it right. We're all done with this lesson.